Master Surgery. Mm-hmm. Master. Okay. Let me get through this chair. <sighs> Alright, it's your turn. Oh, man. <sighs> Doctor. 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 Start this episode. Yes. Actually, those people are well. I called you here today to warn you about something. Dr. Casal tells me you may have shown potential for the healing touch. Healing touch? You don't know? No. Doctors with the healing touch can cure incurable diseases. They can even save patients who come within an inch of death. I don't know how long this gift has existed. But the Greeks believed such doctors were descendants of Asclepius. You mean the god of medicine? Me? Those with the healing touch have certain special qualities. The keenest judgment, unbreakable focus, and unmatched surgical skill. Haven't you noticed any changes during your operations? Well... Sometimes it starts to feel like time is moving much more slowly than usual. Hmm. That must be the result of your extraordinary concentration. It definitely marks you as capable of the healing touch. So I have all those powers? You need to forget about them. Those things are unnecessary. What? If you pursue this, yes, you will become an unparalleled surgeon. But are you prepared for the pain that would bring you? Derek, a doctor's hands are heavy with responsibility. Patients depend on us. They put their lives in those hands of ours. Can you imagine how heavy that bird would be with the healing touch? There aren't many doctors who could endure such a weight. I'm only telling you this for your own good. Forget about that power and be a normal doctor. You'll never be happy otherwise. <laughs> Think of it this way. Right now, you're standing at a large door, knocking. If you continue to knock, that door will eventually open. But you can also turn your back on it and it would stay closed. Why not take a vacation? Get your mind off of surgery for a while. But I... Trust me, it's for your own good. <sighs> your turn! No, okay. Striving for Asclepius. I never even heard of that. Asclepius? Yeah. What? They brought it up in... I think they brought it up in Trauma Team. It was either that one or uh, New Blood. It, it was so long ago. Sir, your memory. Episode number 2-3, Striving for Asclepius. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What's wrong, Derek? Shouldn't you be checking on your patients? Dr. Casal. Do you think I should stop trying to improve as a doctor? So you spoke with Hoffman. I was hoping the news about your abilities might motivate him to start operating again. Huh? Why would it do that? Back when the director was still operating on patients, he named that skill the Healing Touch and accepted its gifts. What? He has it too? But then something happened. He hasn't operated on anyone since. 
all because of one mistake. Can you imagine how heavy? With the healing touch, touch, touch. <laughs> there aren't many doctors who can endure such a weight. Wait, wait. Can I really do that? Can I master the healing touch? Well, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not the one with your abilities. But I know that if you intend to use this power to help people, you need to take command of it. Take command? Yes, you can't be halfway with something like this. One simple mistake changed the director's entire life. He delved too far into something even he couldn't understand. I think you can learn a lot from the director's mistake. If you can't control this power, then it's going to cost you. So, do you think I can do it? Your skill seems to involve focus, so try to concentrate on that. To adjust, I'm sure you'll be able to make this decision for yourself. I can't fully understand the healing touch, because I'm not you or Dr. Hoffman. In the end, nobody's going to be able to make this decision for you. Good luck, Derek. I need to focus on concentration. My dad always used to say I could never concentrate on anything. He taught me to imagine one shape, like a star or a triangle, and focus on that. I'm pretty sure he just made that up, but it definitely came in handy for exams. Maybe that could help now. I'll imagine a star. I just have to relax, focus, and concentrate. Personal training and focus and practice superhuman concentration for self-betterment. Okay, how should I do this? First, I'll just recall what happened during that operation. Now, I'll visualize a star. Concentrate, concentrate. Okay, I can do it. he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get the dummy. I get the real life person. <laughs> You're Gary. Oh, <laughs> healing touch. The power of a... Uh, what was his name again? Asclepius. Asclepius. I can do this. First, I'll recall the procedure. I'm looking at the patient. Let's see, I think I tense my index finger. Concentrate. Right, what else did I do with my hands? Tense up my other hand. It's hard to concentrate when I'm so tense. I know, maybe if I draw a star in the air. This is all wrong. What? I need to be quicker. Okay. It's hard to concentrate on those things. What the? Almost. I was so close to the field. Okay, try again. My eyes are burning. I need to keep at this, though. Okay. Okay, for real this time. Concentrate. Concentrate. What? This is all wrong. This is all wrong. I suck at drawing stars. This is all wrong. This is it. It's exactly like before. I see what I was doing wrong. I wasn't going down far enough. 
I have the healing touch. Ugh, maybe I overdid it. Gave myself a headache. That was it? That was it. That's what happens when you're a master surgical technician like myself. <laughs> Too passable. Hey man, it's passable. See? See? <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of it. I might be able to handle the healing touch after all. Okay, um, so is it my turn? It is. I got, I got graded, so the, the torch is passed. I can't help it if the game happened to give me a test gun. You didn't even do anything. I you did. Just, I you, just drew a, you just drew a straw, star wrong. Like, 15 times. Well, I was getting used to it. I had to focus and concentrate. And see, now it's your turn. But see, you don't get that practice, so you better nail it on your first try. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Community College. You're in the Ivy League. 2-4 Awakening. Meeting. Please review the information again on your own. We should just move on to the surgical conference now, to save time. Those doctors involved, please stick around. Dot dot dot. <laughs> We're starting, Doctor. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> Dr. Styles, pay attention. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I guess I didn't hear you. Is everything alright? You've been staring at the x-ray for a long time. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going over today's operation again in my mind. Anyway, let's get to the conference. Let's get the conference started, huh? Anyway, let's get the conference started, huh? He's been spacing out a lot lately. At least he's concentrating hard on something, I guess. Her voice got a little bit mannish there. Multiple aneurysm. Surface of a large intestine. Requires sedative, treatment, and suturing of affected vessels. Uh, so we're taking care of Mario Kovac. Please pronounce Kovac. Whatever. Today's patient is Mr. Kovac, who was carried in this morning. Whichever way it's said. He's currently not doing very well. Tests showed a number of aneurysms near his large intestine. Large one. Some of them have ruptured, and there is risk of anemia. We need to perform a lapar- Oh God! We need to perform a laparotomy and get those aneurysms under control. The objective of this operation is treat the aneurysms on the outer membrane of the patient's large intestine. That should be all. First, inject a sedative into the swollen vessel to reduce its size. Excise the problem area and suture the vessel closed. You'll need to use the magnification again to ensure your accuracy. Derek, concentrate on the patient. Don't worry about anything else. Okay. What he said. <laughs> it's like, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm like, oh god, laparotomy? What is this? What is this madness? Let's begin. The antihypertensive is in effect, but the aneurysm could still burst. We need to hurry, Dr. Styles. I can't do a girly voice. I'm too manny for that. Manly. The area is disinfected. The lump on that vessel is the aneurysm. Try magnifying that area. We're treating an artery, so be careful. be careful. Let's try to avoid a rupture. Inject sedative into the aneurysm. Uh, that should decrease the risk of it, rupturing. <laughs> now you can excise it. The sedative's worn off. Please inject more right away. Excision complete. Now, place it on the tray. We have to reconnect the vessels that were cut, but... 
There's a lot of blood in the way. Drain the blood first. The vessel area is clear. Now, perform anastomosis. You'll need to manually connect one side to the other. The vessel's connected. Now, suture it quickly. Suture? Stitches? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, good work. Let's close him up now. Cease magnification. What? Again? Every vessel in the area is in danger of becoming an aneurysm. Continue the operation. I'll we'll just have to treat them all. No, that's dangerous. You need to drain the blood first. Next, perform astomosis. Use the forceps to reconnect the vessel. Next, perform at oh dang. The aneurysm is ruptured. We need to stop the bleeding. First, drain the blood. No, that's dangerous. You need to drain the blood first. You keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> well done. Uh, this doesn't end. Keep up the good work, Doctor. Uh, uh. Doctor. I'm tired of giving that girl a manly voice. Start talking like Doctor Girlfriend. An arterial aneurysm is ruptured. No, that's dangerous. You need to drain the blood first. Good work. I think it's settled down for the time being. We should wait a moment to be safe before we close them up. Then this isn't good. Hurry up and treat it. Wait, what about if you use the healing touch? Oh, dang. Really? The moment you say healing touch, you should have been thinking stars. You're done here. I'll have to finish it. Out the way, Derek. Hand me the chainsaw. That's messed up. It's like, I have to do the, the healing touch thing. That I didn't learn, you learned. But you saw me. I saw you. Learn like, by proxy, sir. I saw you, but it's like, I don't know how to do that, Nurse. You hold Z, then you hold B, then you draw a star. Man, stop happening, sir. Come on, Kevin, it was in the manual. I'm not talking about the instruction manual that came with the game. I mean, when you became a doctor. What's an instruction manual? I wouldn't have failed it. That was like a horrible fight. <laughs> she said it was cool. Well done. Well done. Now's your chance! Hit him with the command now! Did you know Doctor Backwards is Rot Cod? Well I'm gonna fail this again. Not if you believe. Unless you believe you're gonna fail.
What I'm doing free. You're good, you're good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, screw that. <laughs> I didn't learn it, you did. Let's close them up. That was dumb. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's getting kind of tense there, Doctor. They're not the doctor that learned that thing, so. Hey, excuses. I want to see you do that. I probably could have. So, I understand you figured out how to control the healing touch. Did you now? Make sure you don't rely on it too much. You need to develop your basic skills, too. I didn't rely on it that time. Everything just burst and I just sucked up the blood. <laughs> like a vampire. Huh? What the? I know it but you didn't take this job because everything's going black. Derek, are you even listening? Derek, what's wrong? Ugh. Now this not we are going to the next one. Why? To do the actual one. Why? Because you didn't do any actual surgery yet. So? It's not my fault that the coin landed that way. That was an important thing that I had to learn. You, that you ended up learning. It's very simple. You hold Z, you hold B, and you draw a star. I don't know what you were trying to draw. I was drawing a star. Okay. Alright. 